Nancy and this is my studio. Welcome. Welcome back to those that have seen me before and have subscribed. Thank you very much for that and welcome to anyone new that thought they'd pop in and see what I'm about and see what I rant about and rave about and um, if you want to stay again or come back again please make sure you subscribe but in the meantime thanks to everybody for just being there for me. I feel like you're there for me so thank you, thank you. Today I'm going to actually do a little bit of a purchasing explanation because I might have purchased some things. First of all, I'll start off with um, one of my mum's good friends. Um, her name is Sue. She sews a lot. Sue sews. Sue, Sue does. Anyway, um, she dropped off in the letterbox with a little note um, saying that myself and mum might like some of these. So this is our bag. Karen stopper stopper okay and I don't know if I'll make it Karen's top shopper so it looks like a big bag but it's got the little handles the little handles that you sew in okay so I thought I'd show you that didn't purchase it okay so that's good and this Vogue this Vogue one I mean it's got like um like um what are these things called clothing bags you usually get them when you buy a suit Sorry, I need these. Can't see any otherwise. Um, it's got like little clothing bags, a little snap pussy thing. And it's got like an inner to a, um, like a cosmetic case. And them scummies, what are they? I don't know what they are. Oh, hang on, maybe if I read it. Standby cooler. Right, package includes patterns for a, a gowned bag. And a dress bag and a suit bag a laundry sack men's shoe bag women's shoe bag maybe we need bigger ones because our shoes are higher um, and a lingerie case and a jewelry pouch round cosmetic case and toilet there's lots of things in here a toilet case woman's shoe sh stuffer oh I think that's K look at that that wee thing there, you could make that. I wouldn't, but you could. Right, so, and that was one of the other ones that mum reluctantly gave me. No, she gave them to me. Um, there is one there that I would like, but apparently mum wants that one because uh, she has the other size group to it and she wants the big group size, the other group size to it. Okay, so then today... I went to Lincraft, and I'll put the link below, um, and saw my Lily Pilly working hard for her money. And this is something they said. So they're having a sale on, um, I can take these off now. They're having a sale, 40% off everything in store, okay? Now, um, I got a contacted the other day. There's a little bit of a run thing through that. Um, and so that was this piece and this piece were five dollars okay and of course 40 percent off it wasn't five dollars it was i don't know way cheaper than that but i thought that'd be really good inside bags so um because you don't need you know you could work your way around that little scratchy crazy bit and i like polka dots so um definitely we'll have to do a bag thing with that the other thing i put aside was um I don't know if anyone else does this, but I know my mum knows how to cook. And, oh, I keep looking at the wrong spot. I know my mum knows how to cook, and um, but she loves to sit down and read cookbooks. And if I cared enough about reading cookbooks, I'd probably do the same. But the thing I do, 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 is I read dressmaking books. Like, I got quite a few of them. And I just thought, you know, this is quite, quite cool. And also, if somebody's asking for an ex explanation of something, because I teach sewing, if somebody asks for an explanation on something, I might be able to word it different. I usually make them touch the stuff. So, but yeah, I just thought, oh, that'll do me. That'll do, pig. That'll do. So I got myself that. And then last, well, during winter, when I popped up and seen Queenie up in Hamilton, we'd be making beanies. I had the best beanie recipe and um so i gave it to queenie and she started making beanies like like she was housing everyone in new zealand with a beanie 
and um so today i bought this so that we can have pom-poms on our beanies it's so cool i have no idea how it works i hope it works there's instructions on the back on how it works so when i make a pom-pom i will have to let you know and show you my pom-poms i'm not knitting beanies at the moment i'm knitting i'm crocheting a cardigan and i'm knitting three other cardigans I was knitting a cardigan when I was in hospital um, during the down period, waiting for dad. Or just going in every day, we would knit because we couldn't sew. Because, oh, that might be noisy. Couldn't sew, so we didn't take a sewing machine in. I could see people around us getting agitated as, <clears throat> like we're in the, so we'd take knitting in. And, um, yeah. I've got a cardigan I haven't touched since Dad passed, so I'll get there. Mum's finished hers, but I just haven't picked it up. Apparently, I've got a lot of things that I've been knitting on the go. It's a little bit of trouble. I don't know. The other thing I picked up was this pattern. Now, this pattern is um, special for a young girl who is going to the ball, and she is quite, not gothic, but um, what do you call it when they dress up in that? Um, it's, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. But anyway, this is the pattern. It's got, it's got the, um, it's got the corset and the, the floaties. It won't be blue. It's going to be a color that's more um, cosplay. That's the one, cosplay. Uh, Half of you are probably shouting out, cosplay, Stacey. So, yeah, so there's um, there's the line drawings. It's got um, the dress there, um, like the cloak dress, and then the dress underneath, and with the um, with the corset. Um, so, <laughs> her mum's going to be watching this. Hurry up. Come on, we need to get this sorted. The ball is on the 27th of this month. No pressure. So anyway, so I got that, and like I said, they were having a sale, um, and there was some, I've got the label here. Now, I do this regularly. Um, it is ooh, Japanese cotton. It's 100% cotton, and is, I got the roll of it. Um, fantastic for making, it looks like linen, eh? Well, it is, it's Japanese linen, but, oh my gosh. So I'm going to make with this, yes, there is <clears throat> plenty to go around and share. Mum would like some. So I've got some in the washing machine to see um, how it actually washes. For... It's going to drop. I'm just going to drop it on the ground. Yeah. Um, see if it washes softer than what it feels. Mum got... Uh, two samples of other ones to wash it and then she's going to take it back to Lincraft to see um, so they can pin it and so, see, so they can see what it looks like or anyone else that wants to purchase it can see what it looks like when it has been washed because it was quite stiff. So I'm just going to get what I think that would look good in. So lately I've been all about the whole fern bird um, dress and here it is here but I would like to make that that top, that top with a v-neck in that, in that petrol blue, I just think, I would, because I can see through it, I would put, um, double line the front, so instead of having facing, it would just be a full lining of the same fabric, but I think that would be quite cool, quite looking forward to that. So that was what I purchased from Lincraft today. The other day, I didn't go into the shop, but I watched somebody and I, for the love nor money, can I think who it was, has a bias binding machine maker thingamajig. I've got the little tooly bits. Oh, I've got to find out who it is. Anyway, their rant obviously was so good about it that I googled if we had them in New Zealand and oh, they do. They're not cheap. Don't get me wrong. They're not cheap. And it's a business expense. 
So, um, yeah. Oh. So, I bought it from Spotlight. And what I love about this, all right, so... I'm... <clears throat> what I love about it, excuse the faces and the grunting, is they packed it in that. I hate it when people be nasty to patterns. I really do, but I don't mind it being as my packing. Because if I want to do something like um, creative on a, um, like a table, because I've got a table there, that table over that way, there. I'm going to scrape that back. There is a machine in there, but I'm going to scrape that back and I'm going to uh, whitewash it and put um, something like this over the top. Um, decoupage. Decoupage. That's what I got. Yay! Quite excited. Mum said she watched the same YouTube. Well, we're assuming we watch the same YouTube because I don't see many people. Um, I'm going to open it. <laughs> don't see many people like talk about it. Like I've got those little the little things that you put through. Psst, psst. But this apparently, apparently, actually does um, does the steaming or it presses it at the same time. Oh, look at that little itty bitty one. Why? Why? That's probably the more the sucker I'd be using is that one. And my, my instructions. Oh, I've got a little... Oops, apparently, we're not meant to show you things like that because the new guy... I don't know. Anyway. So, I've got my instructions. Simplicity, simplicity. And um, I've got my charger, my power cable. And another one of these. I've got one, two... So, I've got five different sizes of the actual I think it's only a double fold which is okay because that gives you the chance to um, fold it yourself when you're folding it over the second time oh I've got to take this call I'll be back and I'm back so I had to just take an hour or so phone call um, organizing some legality things anyway so we're talking about the bias binder now, bias tape maker, bias binder. Um, and I don't know where I got to, but there's the paperwork. I was thinking I was trying to get it out of the box and I was saying how they crimpled that stuff around it. So here's my little box of it. The box, see, nice, nice, nice. Okay, and take it out of the box. I'm not going to apologize for the crinkling. It's going to happen. So it is what it is. Ooh. I think mum's going to come over and we're going to have a bias, bias binding making party. Cocktails all around. Oh, look at it. Ooh. Oh my. Oh my my. I'm going to make a bias binder dress. Just strips of bias binding. Because I can. <laughs> I'm so excited. What I will do, though, is I will make some and tell you how well it goes. Because, um, because, oh, that goes, oh, so that sits, that sits in there. So, like, it's like, almost like everything has its place. And I don't want to tip it too much because everything will fall out of its place. Can't have that. Not on a brand new one. Not at the price that they are. So currently Spotlight has it on sale for um, $260. $240, I lie. $60 off. So um, so that's, that was, yeah, that was that. So but look at that. Isn't it just a dinky, dinky, dinky little Oh, I'm so excited, people. I I make a lot of bias binding. I don't mind um, using bias binding. 
um, but very excited. I am so excited. Anyway, so that was the unboxing of that. I have a box at the window, but that's for above Lily Pilly's toilet because um, the bathroom's almost done. She has her own shower now, so she's happy. She's the only one in the house that has her own shower. Don't know how that worked, but anyway, I still share with people. Now, there is one other thing I'll show you. I know a lot of people have commented on my coats, my, my corduroy one and my um, blue, dark blue and pink, um, like, clubs. You know, the club, um, cards of clubs. Oh. <laughs> you know, cards, you play cards and you've got the hearts, the diamonds the spade and the clubs well it looks like the clubs with the three scummies so i'm going to go and put on the coat that is behind me in the um on the mani okay it's on coining at the minute i'm going to go and put it on now oh, i'll bring it to you It's 1950s. Comes in nicely there, which is good for me because I don't have um, a robust bottom. I'm not boo delicious at all. Oh, what's in my pocket? Stuff. Um, no money. Damn it. Um, and the cuffs, just got cuffs. It's got, it's, it's like velvet. Um, it's got the outside, it's got interlining, and it's got lining and interfacing. It is heavy. So it's got the welted button holes, okay, and it's done in the beautiful rich colour of, the beautiful rich colour of, Isn't that just, the colour is just so rich and gorgeous and, oh, 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 oh. and so, yeah, 1950s pattern. I'll have to Google the pattern and find the thing out for it. Nice deep pockets. And in the bottom of it, as a lot of 50s and 50s skirts had was the horse hair as you know with my other skirt that I'm a bit of a horse hair lover um, now I made this two, two years ago my girls were a little bit smaller then so is it just a bit of a fit over them at the minute and so people come up and pat me when I wear this jacket it's just not embarrassing but they do ask but look at that you might you just yeah it's warm which is needed for um downtown wellington and um yeah i love it it is my favorite it's just oh it's cozy as and it just it just tucks me right in and out thank you thank you very much so yeah so I thought I would show you this this is my piece it was my piece two years ago and unfortunately due to um, time constraints and dad getting ill and passing it I didn't get to make my coat this year so I like to make a coat I have liked to make a coat every year so I've done it once but oh it's, it's heavy it's weighty it's like the weight of a five-year-old child so it's quite heavy so that's me today i hope you have enjoyed it now of course if you like what i have put down and you are not a subs subscriber i would love it if you would subscribe it is free um what you get out of subscribing to me is possibly you don't hear it, but little squeals of delight when I go, oh, another one, oh, another one. 
so I would um that's what I'll do okay so just you've seen it now that's what happens when I wake up in the morning and go oh, another one okay um yeah I'm that person um I hope you like the content if there's anything else you'd like to know about um please let me know and I'll try and get it out there um I was going to do a review on a pattern today but um time constraints and plus i got my simplicity um yummy yummy bias tape maker so um so i'm going to do some reading tonight um and editing and sending this out but i thought oh i'm going to so open that and because i went to lynn craft and i met mum there because she put a car in to get a warrior fitness which is your annual thing for your vehicle to say it's allowed to go on the road and it's not smoking everyone out so sort of met her there and um i got my other bits so that's me for today and i hope to see you and i i do hope to see you for uh friday sews and i want to thank all the people that have um mentioned me um, thank all the people that have subscribed to me thank all the people that have watched me and did you see my short i did a short I did a short. I did have to ask Samuel how to. What do I do now? Why can't I see the picture? It was like at 9.30 last night. Yeah. So, um, so I did a short. But thanks everyone for just even watching and not scrolling past, swiping right, swiping left. I don't know how you are. Anyway, thank you guys. Stay safe. Stay dry. Stay warm. And above all, stay cool. Keep sewing. Thanks. See ya. Thank you, thank you very much.